Bug. Welcome back, Motherboards.org. Me, Caveman, bring unboxing of Patriot Pyro SE SSD. It's so easy a caveman can do it. Let's give it a shot. All right, everybody, I was just having some fun with that. You know me, I like to joke around stuff. This is the Pyro SE. This is 120 gigabyte. This is the SATA 3 compatible SSD. It's supposed to have read write speeds of about 500. We'll see that when we get into the testing. Today was the caveman unboxing. You know, I couldn't find anybody to beat over the head and drag back to my cave, so I decided to do an unboxing. There's not much to this, though. You know, all the SSDs are 2.5 inch. This one uses the latest Sandforce controller. So this is it, this is what's in the box. Couple things, check it out right here. We get a, uh, what does this one say? Go lightning fast. Now, this is really good for a hard drive, but I'm sure your girlfriend does not want you going lightning fast. Just take that as a reminder from the dock here, you know? Slower momentum. But for the SSD, that's some good shiznick. We'll move that out of the way. That's like number one, the go lightning fast. We pass that. Right here we have a little pamphlet that says SATA. This is the SATA 3 little pamphlet, just letting you know that once again. By the way, a lot of you guys always ask if it's backwards compatible. Yes, it is. They're all backwards compatible, but take this into consideration. Different controllers on different boards work different ways. So far, the X789 and the AMD boards, believe it or not, the newer ones, that is, for their new FX series, run better than most of the other controllers. That's on a motherboard, I'm telling you. Anyways, we got this, so I'll toss the box out of the way. A little special effects there. Then we got the drive right here, little Mike's plastic package. Go ahead and just uh, pop this right here, simply. Simply pops out. Here's the drive. It's head proof. It can also be used, it doubles as a weapon. So basically, let me give you guys your first martial arts and struck with SSD. If you have an SSD, you basically cock it in your hand like this. You bring the SSD back at full force and you throw it at your enemy. And if you hit him really hard, it'll probably hurt your enemy pretty good and he'll be down. Otherwise, you just give him the sucker a free SSD and this is a pretty good one. So that's it, basically. Here's the drive. I'll flip it around and show you guys the back of the drive. You can see the SATA and the power connector right there in the back. And that's about it. This is the unboxing. Look for the full review in a couple of days. This thing's going to be pretty fast. Let's see how fast she is. See you later.